What's up, guys? Pete here. Just want to do a quick update about uh, Nate Cox, founder of Virginia Cop Block. On Wednesday, the 14th, on Virginia Cop Block, Nate uh, posted about some leaked Richmond PD documents that had been shared with a group out of Richmond called the RVA Wingnut, the Richmond Virginia Wingnut group, and uh, the quality of them, you know, wasn't known what was on them. It was just known that there was a, a, a number of documents that had been leaked from Richmond PD. Uh, another organization put them up. Uh, Nate Cox down at Virginia Cop Block posted them to his site. Um, we reposted it to copblock.org. And uh, Friday, November 16th, uh, the other organization, Wing, RVA Wingnut, was uh, told to take the documents offline by these folks wearing RPD badges. And uh, the documents were later made inaccessible online, so it seems like the folks with the RPD badges maybe had a hand in making that happen from what the Wingnut folks are saying. Nate Cox himself on the 16th, the same day on Friday, was visited by these folks wearing RPD badges. Um, they first visited his mom's house. Uh, they were filming. They learned that, about this from a neighbor. And then they visited his grandma's house where the tenant, um, you know, told the folks wearing badges who were filming that she didn't feel comfortable with uh, accepting paperwork from them. Um, they later went to Nate's work, and he shot a quick video today of his interaction. They gave him a document. It was an old... Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Kyle. Good all right. Thank you, sir. All right. Good day. Thank you all. Do you mind if I fly over after me? I haven't published anything online. Uh, sir, it's all in there, sir. It's a good day. All right. So it was an order prohibiting the defendants, which these strangers wearing badges who, you know, were acting pretty intimidating and aggressive, uh, defined as Murray Kahn, the Richmond Wingnut Collective, Nathan Cox, Filebin.net, and does one through ten. So the order said that those individuals and organizations were prohibited from continuing to make the confidential information available to the public and requiring that the defendants return to the court any copies of any portion of the confidential information. So essentially they're demanding that these individuals turn over to them information that's public um, and you know what happens if they don't? Are they is there an implied threat there? Of course there is. So um, where do you stand on this? Do you think censorship is a good thing? I encourage you to check out more. Uh, look into this. Go to virginiacopblock.org. Go to copblock.org. And if you're so inclined, call the Richmond PD. Let them know how you feel about their actions. Let them know that uh, censorship is a tool used by bullies to hide their misdeeds. And, you know, if they really do advocate and stand by the mission they swear to uphold, then they should be in favor of transparency. Um, but, you know, stuff like this isn't surprising, seeing that all these folks wearing RPD badges operate on stolen money. They say everybody who lives within Richmond has to give us money. And, you know, Nate Cox is a stand-up dude. I can understand why when he questions their claimed authority and uh, shares information that they have, they uh, might not like that. Because, anyway, stand-up dude, I encourage you to uh, check out more about this. Support Nate, support Virginia Cop Block, and support yourself. Stand up for your own rights, film police interactions, make them uh, transparent, support other people, and... Uh, so one day this institutionalized violence will be no more. So, till next time.